from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains in Denver, Colorado. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get started. Today's starter for Colorado, Kyle Freeland. What do we need to know here? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw Leading that pitch yeah, today as it bad. used to be because the you know, guys are looking to Yon hit Yon. balls down in the zone, yeah. get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. And a curve is down and in. Not even close there. And it's two and one. Outside. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Bounced out to short. Nice grab to first. And very nicely done for the out. Great cat like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then right. fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy in the mound. Yeah. And now it's Brandon Lau. Flips the corner. That's strike one. Freeland in his seventh season, 30 years old now, and he's playing today in his home state of Colorado. You'll won. One out, base is empty. That one, one misses, and a count one and two. One down, base is empty. Bows it back with two strikes. Here's a one two. Oh. Two and two. And they'll do it again. Ninth pitch of the at bat do next. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Diaz on to first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled and this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So Gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Two outs, space is empty. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. First oh, offering, and it just misses. And a pitch. Check swing, no appeal, and now 2 0. Oh. There's a strike. Two balls, one strike.
Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one for strike two. There's a swing and a drive. Doyle going back. Got all of that one. That'll fire up the dugout, and just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. Randy Rosarena could probably run the bases blindfolded with the amount of home runs he hits. pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off Isaac Paredes now in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone Paredes in his third season batting in the cleanup spot and he's a native of Mexico Two down, base is empty, but one run across. The Rays leading on the solo homer. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Over to first. That's out number three. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. And the home team down a run. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Denver. And on the hill, the big righty, Zach Eflin. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Now it's the DH, Charlie Blackman. First pitch misses. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One ball. One strike. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Drill to right. Way back there. And that is gone. felt good and we're all square it's 1-1 this game is breathing new life thanks to that home run and that's exactly what they needed he's so good at getting his arms extended and that's exactly what he did right there you don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Started to swing, held up. Tied up here in the early going. That's in there, and it's one and one. The one real one. threats are coming up, already giving up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Up the middle, Caballero. Tosses to first, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two-seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer, and when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. 
Eagles, but called a ball. One ball. One, one and strike. one. That's and ball. another ball. Two and one. The line to kick the pitch. That one down foul. the line and foul ball. Here's the 2 2. Now to short. Over to Diaz. That's out number two. Batting four. The first base. Here's Chris Bryant now. Brian, 32 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. In there for strike one. Hello. One strike. Two outs, bases empty. To the right side, and that one finds its way through. Not How much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team of bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Swings and misses. One one. Two outs. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. That is good. The third baseman. Ryan McMahon Ryan. steps to the plate. McMahon. And takes low for ball one. one it's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Headed down the line. And a foul ball. Two on, two outs. And a count one and two. Pitch. And that's down and away. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Set for the start of the inning. And now the DH, Harold Ramirez. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Now this is in the air down the line. And that will drop foul. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. That is it. The right fielder, number one. Now it's the right fielder, Richie Palacios. That one finds the zone, and it's a one. One straight. liner up the middle to base hit so they get a man aboard with a one out single now I'm sure he feels really good about that one that was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat it jumped off so hard squared it up and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour and now it's Jose Siri line to left fair ball and that rolls into the corner. Palacios around second, headed for third. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Hey, he 
Picks himself up in RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. Curveball over for a called strike. one inside and it's a ball to strike Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one pretty good strike zone well reviewed by those we talked to around the league yeah he's an umpire he doesn't get a lot of looks from players maybe here and there once in a while but he's appreciated back there that one's in there one and two in the air right field sizes this one up no trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Renee Pinto next to hit for the Rays. That one's in there. Strike one. Man. I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Siri stands at second with two gone. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. Ground ball right side. Rogers on to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Rays get an RBI double, and this is now a 2-1 ball game. Back here at Coors Field, and now the veteran catcher, Elias Diaz. Oh, yeah. Eflin back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And yeah, that's outside. Right hander kicks deals. There's a strike, two and one now. Extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Next to hit for the Rockies, Sean Bouchard. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. Fouled off. He was late. Bounce to the left side. And that's just foul. Here comes a pitch. That's to third. And it's three for a hit. Throw quickly into third. They're at the corners now to start the inning. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hit. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. Score and they take the lead. Three to 
two. Oh, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Here's Chuck Nasty. He's already homer here in this one. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. That's it for a strike. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. Left-hand hitter waits. That one fouled off. And the 2 Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. No outs, runner over at third. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And he deals. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. Ezekiel no, Tovar no. digging no, in no, for the Rockies. No. Grounded no. out his first time. No. Right through there for a strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Pitches downstairs. Got him looking. And two away now. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Two outs, space is empty. Now here's Nolan Jones. That one's in there, 0 1. The wind and the pitch. On the ground to third. Paredes hey, fires over to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We play two full. It's the Rockies four, the Rays two. Top half of the third inning. Way. Now here is Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. A one down. 
right through there for a strike. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. And that one is inside ball one. That misses, and the count is even two and two. Line and a base hit into right. So a runner aboard to start the inning. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Lau at the plate. Now a screamer into the outfield. And he makes the catch. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those little hits to get a knock sometimes. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. He's already homered in this game. Up and in, ball one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Fights that one away, still one and two. And a pitch. Man at first, one away. Luke behind second. Dunks one down, base hit. Lead runner around second. The throw to third. He's in there. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already, his bat stays in the zone on the plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center oh, fielder. Oh. Paredes up to bat next. Lays off for ball. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Out towards right center field. Sizing this one up. He's got it. Here comes the runner from third. He'll score on the sack fly and it's a one run game. Well, he's always capable of losing yeah. one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job Ramirez. driving that run from third. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Up the middle, Rodgers. They took the first out. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and the man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Rockies four and the Rays three. As we go to the last of the third, here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. And the pitch. That's in for a strike. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. The 0-1. All these Rockies doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They're hitting everything thrown at them. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now. Those numbers are well above the major league average. And a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
Nevada, number seven. Second Take base game for him so far, Ooh. Ben. Another hit, and they've just been Ooh. knocking him around through the first two plus. He's got to get things back on track. Maybe junk a pitch that isn't working, or he might not last much longer. Next for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. Ball right side, and it goes just foul. And the right hander deals on the ground to the left, and foul ball. Righty delivers. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Pitch. That's the ball. Bounce it off, still one and two. The pitch. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. You know, hitters, right. they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. His first at bat was a strikeout. There's a strike. He deals. No, oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. And another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. At the belt and fires. And it's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. First and second, no outs. Here in the last half of the third. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Over to Loud. On to first. Save. So they get one, but a really nice try okay. there. Well, this is obviously a tremendous okay. play, but for me, it starts oh, with yeah, a yeah. well-broken in glove. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. the confidence to go down, knowing that ball is going to be right in the pocket. So you've got a clean transfer. Pop back up to the feet and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. And now it's Elias Diaz. Doubled his first time up. Line drive. Come on. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce no a hit, but he made no solid no contact, and that's all you're no looking no to do anytime you're at the plate. No. And now the right fielder, Sean Bouchard. Splits the plate. Going on. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Brian on third, McMahon on at first with two down. Next pitch is inside, and yeah, the count even one and one. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Wouldn't chase that time. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Kicks and fires. 
Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Runners on first and third. Two away. Kicks and deals. And that's downstairs and outside. Brenton Doyle in the Colorado on deck circle. Fights it off, you'll see another. Three and two now. Swing and a ball popped up. And a base hit knocks in a run. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. A double and a run scored his first time oh. up. Pitch misses there. Know. And that is ball one. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Two outs. And a curve misses outside. Now one out to right, ranging back. And that is the third out of the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 5-3. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Richie Palacios. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. And a foul ball. Well, these Rays do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. One not ball. close He's with right. that one. And it's one and two. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Left-hand batter waits. Battling here as he fouls it away. In position, makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now, now, the seven. Jose Siri, next to hit for the Reigns, doubled in his first A.B. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Yeah, the first offering is not close. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. And the slider just misses. 
Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. A couple of hits in a row for him no, here. Bad. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So, man aboard. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jose Caballero. Ball one and a pitch inside. And a pitch. That one's in there. And it's one and one. The Rays down by a pair. Top half of inning number four. And it is two and one. Two and one. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. Base knock right field. Run comes in from second, and it's now 5 4. He was all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Runner on the goal. And a foul ball. And it's even oh. up. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 oh, 2 Cal. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. And here it comes. Rudder goes again. Fall off foul. Just a slow ground ball this time. Fired to second. And that's two. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 5-4 ball game. And we're back. Bottom of the fourth. Here's Colorado's DH, Charlie Blackman. Charlie Blackman. The right-hander back to work. Blackman, multi-time All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was a second-round pick back in 2008. Chop back up the middle. Caballero fires over to first. And a quick out number one. Now Ezekiel Tovar digs in down. And that one missing low. Next offering upstairs. And downstairs. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. There's the strike. to kick the pitch on the ground to short Caballero 
gathers and throws to first. Two up, two down. Well, up, number 22. So two down now, and here is Nolan Jones. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And it's fouled away. Jones measures six feet, four inches, 25 years old, and he's usually in right today starting in left. That one ripped, but foul. Boog, if I was to break it down and make it simple, I would say right field's kind of a chill spot compared to left field. Left field's that second hot corner, in my opinion. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They lead it 5-4. Back here at Coors Field, ready now for the fifth the inning. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. The wind of the pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man on base to start the inning. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. At 110 miles per hour on the exit VLO. That thing was screaming and... That's some serious bat speed to generate contact like that, and no doubt a higher launch angle sends that thing out of here easily. Brandon Lau, the next to hit. No. Close one doesn't get the call. One and oh. Raised down by a run, and we're at the top of the fifth. Pitches in for a strike, and it's one and one. Liner, come in second. From up here, it looked like that liner might be spilling a gap in right center. That's one of those atom balls you just have to live with as a hitter. Here's the left fielder, Randy Rosarena. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. No. And the pitch is outside, ball one. One ball, no straight. One one now. Line drive. Fair ball. Makes the turn at second. Heads for third. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Two on, one out. And now it's going to be Isaac Paredes. Golden opportunity right here. That one close, rule the ball. And that's ball one. Two on, one out. Slice the other way and foul. Here comes a pinch. This ball's chopped in the ground. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Up next to Tampa Bay. The designated hitter, Harold Ramirez. And next is the designated hitter, Harold Ramirez. to get the call and it's one and oh double barrel action in the bullpen nick mears the young right hander up and throwing beats the lefty warming up as well
And fouled off. Two outs. And another ball. That one misses. Ball three. Richie Palacios up next. A Rosarena on third with two out. Ground ball left side. McMahon fires over to first. They limit the damage here. A run on two hits and they leave one. Home half of the fifth coming up. We're all tied up 5-5. Back here in Denver, here and now the Four first baseman, five. Chris Bryant. The first baseman, Chris Bryant. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. On the ground, out to short. Caballero fires across the diamond. And that's the first out in the bottom of the number field. Number seven. Second baseman. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rogers. And there's the strike. On one. And a strike on the outside edge. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Safe. And that's his third hit. Tough play on a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out. But it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Runner on at first with one gone. So in now for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. Ball oh, one there. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Oh. Missed inside with the curve. Front there as he swings through it. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Right hander kicks deals. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count is two and two. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Paredes drifts towards it. Brings it in. And there's two down. Up next to Colorado, the catcher. Oh, yeah. And now the catcher comes up to him. Elias Diaz, one for two. First pitch, not close. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Three ball, one strike. Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Three balls and a strike. Stairs and it misses ball four. Now, the white field. And the Rays 
They go to the bullpen. Tyler Alexander. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to have. Number four, best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. So two down. Next to hit for the Rockies, Sean Bouchard. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Double. One strike. And now the lefty in the air out towards left center. And that's the inning. Two left for Colorado. This ball game still tied five all. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Nick Mears. Now pitching for the Rockies. Number 46. Nick Mears. And now, Richie Palacios. The right field. Richie Palacios. The pitch. That's in there. And that is strike one. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Jake Bird appears to be getting loose. Right-handed reliever. Ripped on a line to center. Door makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. Now back up. The center fielder. Here's the center fielder, Jose Siri. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. 0 and 1. And a curve is down and in. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Out towards left center. On his way over. He's got it. And that quickly, two away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Caballero oh. stands in now and watches strike one. Two down, nobody on. That one way inside. One ball, one strike. Two outs. Good no. eye right there. And another ball. Three and one. The right-hander oh. gives up the two-out walk. And he's a guy that will certainly think about stealing a bag or two. Not the kind of speed you want to put on base in a tie game. Go ahead, run on base. Now up for Tampa Bay, Rene Pinto. First, and he's back in safely. out but nothing going on oh. 
Caballero the runner at first with two gone. Two balls. No Pitch straight. out but no action. Riding to the plate. Base knock center field. And that should be extra bases. Caballero coming home. He scores and they have the lead. Six to five. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Yanni Diaz now. And there's a foul ball. Runner at second, two down. And that one fouled off. Man on second, two down. That one, one not close. Going to count one and two. And it's second. Swing and a miss. And that is that. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's tightened up a bit at 6-5 now. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six, and stepping in is the speedy Brenton Doyle. And he deals. In the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Now back, back. The designated hitter. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's Charlie Blackman. One for three. And that's outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Sean Armstrong warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Clevenger getting cranked up as well. Home team down a run as the Rays try and punch back down a run. Two balls, no strikes to count. Just kind of slice that one into center. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him, but he found a way to stay with his approach. Didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. With the tying run on at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. That one lifted to left. Brings it in. The left fielder, number 22, Nolan. Now the left fielder, Nolan Jones. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left handed hitter facing a left handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. The pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it.
He muscles that one out the opposite way. It's 7-6. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Base is empty with two away. Chris Bryant digging in for the Rockies. Right through there for a strike. You'll one. On the line, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive to the no whole side. Met no it out front. They just stayed through it nice Whoa. enough and ripped it into the outfield. Whoa. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. In there, and it's 0-1. And ball one. The one one is fouled off. And the pitch. Ouch. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. Oh, he's only an out away from getting through the inning. But he just lost control for a brief moment there. It's not the end of the world, but don't let one mistake turn into another. Get your focus back right here. McMahon in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Couple of base runners at first and second. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. At the belt and fires. And that's in the dirt. Two on, two outs. Out to short. They get the force. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But the Rocks bring in two on this big fly. It's now a 7-6 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Jalen Beeks Ladies gets gentlemen. an opportunity You're to square right. off against his former team. Now, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Jalen Beeks. And stepping in for the Rays, Brandon Lau. The second base. Brandon Lau. The wind and the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And that one fouled off. Next off, he's in for a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Looking to get the tying run on base. Foul ball still, a one and two count. 
And a pitch. Got it! And one ball. That big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you commit it. And you try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Randy or Rosarena. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Beats in his fifth season, 30 years old now. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. And That's there's a ball. One and one. A one and one. Well, chase that time. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. That's a strike. It's two and two. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. That misses, and that's ball three. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Outside, and that is ball four. Now that one gone runner at first. Now the third baseman, Isak Paredes. The Rosarena on the move. Now a pop up on the infield. Under it. And there's two down. Now it's the DH, Harold Ramirez. Three ground outs already. He's 0 for 3. First pitch doesn't find the zone. A Rosarena off the of first with two away. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Now fly ball to right center. And that is that. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Rockies seven, the Rays six. We're back at a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Sean Armstrong. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. Diaz. The pitch. That's in for a strike. Swings through that one out in front that time. Kicks and fires. One and two. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Got it. And that's the first out. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Bouchard, batting with one down, takes a strike. That clips the zone. 0-2. Base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seventh. 
Next offering upstairs. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Next offering misses down and away. Okay. Just off the outside edge. And that's ball three. And that's ball, ball four. four. Man at first with one gone. Brenton Doyle now at the plate. Foul ball there. One run game. One out. One on. That's the third. Slides, but it gets by him. The designated hitter. So the batting order turns over. Next is the designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. That's out to center field. Base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Here's the throw. It's a play, and he scores. It's eight to six. Always feels amazing getting the job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Ezekiel Tovar getting ready to hit. 0 for 4. Two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. First pitch, and he just misses. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. That's a base hit as a run scores. for the Rays, Phil Maytag. And this could be a pretty critical Number point in this game. They're hoping he's Phil. the guy to keep him within striking distance. So up next, Nolan Jones. Back in the sixth, he drove a two-run shot out of here to help them get the lead they're working with. Yeah, definitely one of the bigger moments in this game so far, and it could be one we look back on when this game is over as well. In there at the knees, and it's 0-1. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Sliced hard, but foul. <laughs> Left-hand hitter waits. Just off the inside corner. Now one and two. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Around third. The throw in. He'll score. And they're up by four. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Runners on the corners with one gone. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. And the pitch is in for a strike, going one. Foul off left side. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. 
Oh, and two now. That oh. one missed. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Got him swinging. Not too often you're going to see a sub 90 mile per hour fastball get by a hitter for the strikeout, especially when it's in a very hittable location like that. Makes me think he's either looking for something else completely or he tried to do way too much with that swing. So digging in, Brendan Rodgers. Three for three with three singles. That pitch clips the outside corner. That's strike one. Tovar, the runner at third. Jones, at first, two out of the inning. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Pickoff throw back in their standing. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So they get three runs, four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Rockies 10, the Rays 6. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jake Bird. And he's got a nice lead, lead to work hitter. with, so he right. should come in throwing lead. strikes, now attacking these the hitters. Rocky. Number 59, Jake Bird. And now, Richie Palacios. The Rays in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Ball one there. Activity in the bullpen. Gavin Hollowell getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball. And the righty deals. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. It definitely didn't come out of his hand the way that he was intending it to. And the release point is a little bit off as well. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And first offering is fouled off. The Rockies leading by four, and we're at the top of the eighth. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a fool. Man at first. Now up for Tampa Bay. Jose Caballero. And that's in for a strike. Good approach. Right you want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. That's down and in. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. 
It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. On the inside corner for a strike. That's a little bit low. The 1-1. One, one. Right through there for a strike. And that'll do it. One left for Tampa as the lead holds at 10 6. Out to the bottom of the Here eighth. Go. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Third baseman, Ryan McMahon. The right hander back to work. And that one wrapped foul. Smoked on the ground a second. Lau sends it to first. One gone to the bottom of the year. Number 35. Diaz. Here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. A strikeout and a walk. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Inside just missed. This to center field. Sizes this one up. He's there. He's got it. And there are two outs. The right fielder, number 12. Now here is Sean Bouchard. Nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Brent Doyle digging in for the Rockies. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Check on the runner, and he's back in safely. Bouchard leads off first with two down to the inning. And another ball. That one misses, and it's 3-0. on the pitch and down on strikes he goes and that's the third out so one left for Colorado as the lead holds at 10 to 6 we're back it's the top of the night and there's a new pitcher on the mound Gavin Hollowell number 64 Gavin 
Callaway. So the Rays batting order there. turns over. The first Leading first off, two, Yandy two. Diaz. Yandy Diaz. Diaz. And he deals. Clips the corner. One one. And that one sliced foul. On the ground, right side, Rogers slings to first, yeah, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now back, second base, Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau, next to hit for the Rays. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. one. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the ninth. Packs and misses, it's a strikeout. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you off, saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Last chance for the Rays. And stepping in for the Rays, Randy or Rosarena. Three for three with a single, a double, and a triple, so he just needs a homer for the cycle. In there at the knees for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And that's off the inside edge. And one and one. On the ground, and this should do it. Throw to first, ball game. And the Rockies slug their way to a win in this one. Certainly can't complain about a lack of action in this one. A high-scoring game. Purists might not love it, but pretty impressive showing at the plate from both sides. Final score here today, 10-6. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.